God bless you one and all. Thank you for joining us for another prayer tour. We are in Hebrews chapter 2. Our context is verses 2 through 4. Our emphasis is verse 4. And our prayer tool today is praying for the witness of God. Praying for the witness of God. Here is what the word says in the English Standard Version. Uh, verse 2. For since the message declared by angels proved to be reliable and every transgression or disobedience received a just retribution, how shall we escape if we neglect such a great salvation? It was declared at first by the Lord, and it was attested to us by those who heard, while God also bore witness by signs and wonders and various miracles and by gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his will. Now, the New American Standard Bible uh, says that God also testified with those who heard. Because the, the message of salvation was confirmed to us by those who were there to hear it. And then God also bore witness. Now, we can pray in our own lives. We can pray in the corporate worship prayer leaders for God to bear witness. What does it look like when God bears witness? Verse 4 tells us he bears witness with signs, wonders, various miracles, and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to the will of God. And so this is the expectation we should have that God responds to his word when it's released, the word of salvation. Why is this important for prayer? It's important because intercessors and prayer leaders need to push for the witness of God. We have more and more unbelieving believers who are coming out of rote and routine to the house of God. They come to church because they need a lifeline. They come to church because they know it's the right thing to do or that it's just part of their routine. But we need the life of God in our services. And one way we can push for that in prayer is to push for the witness of God. Pray for the witness of God. God's witness in corporate worship it's so important. It's why we come uh, to get into the presence of God together. And the prayer leader can lead the congregation into a unified pursuit of the word of God. We emphasize praise. Yes, we emphasize worship. It all works together. We emphasize prayer, but we all looking unto Jesus, okay, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Hebrews 2 verses 2 through 4 show us how the word connects to the move of God. Um, this is how we should lift our faith. This is how we should offer our prayer according to the scripture uh, to press for the witness of God. God endorse our service tonight, endorse our service today, endorse our time together, endorse the, the purpose of our assembly uh, by signs and wonders, various miracles and the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Um, Bear witness to your word. That's the prayer. Bear witness to your word. Don't let this be a wasted time of offering, but guide our offerings to you. Guide our prayer. Guide our praise. Guide our worship. Guide everything that we would, would deem an offering to the Lord. Lord, will you bear witness to it? Will you show up with it? Not because we desire a performance, but you're the reason we've come. Uh, so don't turn a deaf ear to us, but bear witness to your word bear witness uh, because we desire to embrace this great salvation we don't want a way of escape by neglecting this great salvation we want to lay hold of it we want to uh, pursue it we want to embrace it we want to draw others into this way so god bear witness to your word uh, just something to put in our hearts this week god bless you i uh, thank you for Sticking with us with the prayer tools, it's an exciting thing uh, to see prayer lift up out of the scriptures. I pray it's a blessing to you. Uh, keep praying, and uh, we'll see you next week for another prayer tool.